Hello, welcome to the course of Computer Network. So today we are going to discuss about the network performance. So in this chapter, we will discuss about the measurements of network performance. Then we will discuss about the type of network measurement. And lastly, we will discuss about the QoS that is quality of service. So starting with the very first, let's discuss about the measurement of network performance. So here the measures that are used to calculate network performance are latency, throughput and jitter. Here the latency is also known as delay and it is defined as the time required to transfer data across a network. Throughput, it, it is also known as capacity and it is defined as the amount of data that can be transferred per unit time. And jitter is also known as variability and here it is defined as the changes in delay that occur and the duration of the changes. So these are the measures on the basis of which we calculate the network performance. So here the first one is latency. So here latency specify how long data takes to travel across a network from one computer to the another. So it is measured in fraction of second and delay depends upon the network infrastructure and the location of the device. So the type of delays are propagation delay, switching delay, queuing delay, access delay and server delay. Propagation delay is the time required for a signal to travel across a transmission medium. Access delay is the time needed to obtain access to a transmission medium. Switching delay is the time required to forward a packet. And queuing delay is the time a packet spent in the memory of a switch or a router waiting to be selected for transmission. And server delay is the time required for a server to respond to a request and send a response. Another one is throughput. So throughput is also known as capacity and throughput is a measure of the rate at which data can be sent through the network. So it is measured in bit per second and throughput is measured at the single channel, single channel or multiple channel capacity, effective throughput rate or data rate achieved by an application. It is also known as good put. And the another one is jitter. So jitter is an any deviation in or displacement of or the signal pulses in a high frequency digital signal. The deviation can be in term of amplitude, phase timing or the width of the signal pulse. The cause of jitters are EMI that is electromagnetic interference and crosstalk with the other signals. So the type of network measurements are active measurement and passive measurement. So the active measurement is done by injecting traffic into a network and here the measurement of traffic can change the performance of the network. And in passive measurement, it monitors a network and counts the packet, but it doesn't inject additional traffic into the network. So NetFlow, one of the most widely used passive measurement technique, it was created by Cisco and it is now as an IETF standard. QoS that is quality of service. So QoS is the description or measurement of the overall performance of a service such as a telephony or a computer network or a cloud computing service. It particularly uh, defines the performance that is seen by the user, users on the network. So here the QoS is the contract between a service provider and a customer. This contract defines a service by specifying the data rate that the provider guarantees and a contract between an ISP and a customer that specify the detail of the service being offered is known as service level agreement. So here, so this is the definition, this is the definition of QoS. The next the, uh, service specification of QoS are fine grain and coarse grain. Here in the fine grain, a provider allow a customer to state specific QoS requirement for a particular communication. Here a customer make a request each time a flow is created like example uh, in TCP connection. Cross grain, coarse grain is a, uh, in this a provider specify a few broad classes of services that are suitable for one type of traffic. And here a customer must fit all traffic into these classes. So these are the service specification of QoS, fine grain and coarse grain. The another is five step for implementing QoS are classification, policing, forwarding computation, output queuing and traffic scheduling. Let's discuss about these one by one. The first one is classification. 
here a, whenever a packet arrives a router classify the packet by assigning the packet a flow identifier and in the policing the router perform policing uh, here the router verifies the packet that the packet does not violate parameters for the flow and in forwarding computation here the uh, data is uh, here the data is computing on a next hop and a router or a switch can use the flow identifier where the flow identifier determines the path to be followed and the other another one is output queuing here the output queuing me mechanism uses the flow identifier to place the packet in one of the queues associated with the port and a traffic scheduler or a traffic scheduling implements the qos policies by selecting a packet to send whenever a port is idle so these are the five type uh, five steps for implementing the qos to the uh, data packet the next one is ietf qos technologies and protocol so ietf developed two, pro uh, two protocol to provide quality of service the first one is rsvp that is resource reservation protocol and cops that is the common open policy service protocol see here rsvp is a fine grained version of quality of service and is used for tcp and udp session and the another one is cops cops is used to specify and enforce the policies in the network here a router that implements policies uses cops is to communicate with the policy server and obtain information about the flow parameters then is differ uh, serves that is it is it, it is used to define how classes can be specified and how the type of service field in ipv4 and ipv6 header can be used to specify the class of a packet so it is defined by itf and this is used to define a core screen quality of service and the last one is mpls that is multi protocol label switching it is known as connection oriented communication mechanism that is built on top of ip so this is all about the qos technologies and protocol so this is all about the network performance thank you